Please all kneel for the prayer to Jesus, the Divine Word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh, from the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you are our Son, and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here, so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and the Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in all ways. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. We pray for the following intentions of this Mass, and for those prayer requests placed in the Shrine's Facebook page. Thanksgiving of Jarzakim Castro, Gian Castro, Bontongan Ponzalan Kunanan Castro families, Alian Synergia Incorporated, Hakduksin Incorporated, PCE Corporation, Joseph Patrick Flores and Family, Bernadette Flores and Family, Pamela Abrina and Family, Sani Acosta, Gloria Daniel Maricel Judith de la Cruz, Evangelista Family, Nieva Lin Ginto, Amades Fides Balaga, Paula Chua, Diane Castillo, Barbara Cruz, Nelia Obosa. For the special intentions of the following, June Coronel and Family, Tony Evangelista and Family, Bong Evangelista and Family, Milagros Coronel and Family, De Coronel and Family. Emil Coronel and Family, Hermie Admana and Family, Tom Coronel and Family, Father Dan Coronel, Alian Synergia Incorporated, Hakduksin Incorporated, PCE Corporation, Joseph Patrick Flores and Family, Bernadette Flores and Family, Pamela Abrina and Family, Sonny Acosta, Evangelista Family, Jean and Reggie Dantes and Children, Gloria de la Cruz, Jani Zaragoza Dato, Judith de la Cruz, Daniel de la Cruz, Maricel de la Cruz, AP Himora Builders, Amadis Fides Balaga, Father June Barquez, Rick Ryan de Leon, Chodoro Sambrana, Fe Archie Manalang, Aida Abelion, John D. Ada and Jared Buendia, Greggy, Joanna, and Ali Abelion, Dolores Buendia, Lennox, Maan, Maxi, and Pia Patia, Abelion, Buendia, Arcangel, at, and Artates family, Gandionco, Franco, Lu, Lupango, Rosario, and Patiag family, Kathy, Genevieve Alino, Jay and Sheila Morales, Renzo's SAT subject tests, Erwin Tulfo. For the healing of Nieva Lin Ginto, Honorato Hernandez, Teodora Anyonuevo, Mylene Hughes, Christopher Hughes, Lara Therese Hughes, Courtney Macy Paule Villarba, Damaso Sambrana, Uriel Borja, Regina Zita Cunanan, Nestor Canosa, Julieta Menjola, Jared Eden Lango, Gloria de la Cruz, Daniel de la Cruz, Maricel de la Cruz, Judith de la Cruz, Anisita Huerta, Nympha Pescador, Joe Guting, Jerry Martinez. 
for the souls of the following, Carmela, Michael, relatives and friends of Garcia, Mercado, Rojas, and Florin families, Crispin, Erlinda, Remahildo, Nathaniel, Juan Huet, Bernardito, Mark Daniel, Antulin, Chua Chong Cho, Adria, Arcelia, Onesto, Romeo Ray, Helen, Benilda, Wilfredo, Crispin Sr., Benilda, Jose, Gregorio Jr., Andres, Precious, Florencia Jr., Teresita, Rudy, Raul, Esther, Rodolfo, Gregoria, Victorina, Victor, Wilfredo, Rosella, Jerry, Mercy, Epifanio Book, Cervellino, Lerma, Alfredo, Lito, Arturo Jr., Jose, Danilo, Eduvogodes, Andres, Gabi, Manolito, Mariano, Herman, Eusebio Jr., and all souls in purgatory. A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocese and Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission San Maneri, Quezon City. We are on the first Saturday of Advent. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Anthony Inzon, SVD. We rise and we start our celebration. We are gathered in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the first Saturday of the month of December. We fly to the intercession of our Blessed Mother as we ask for her continuous help that we be blessed and that we may continuously follow in the footsteps of Christ, her Son, and participate in the work of His Kingdom. Now for us to become less unworthy as we celebrate this Mass, let us first of all call to mind our sins. We beg the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you have given us vocations in life. May we follow them accordingly. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, despite difficulties, life because of you is meaningful. May we celebrate this meaning. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to life everlasting. Amen. 
Let us pray. O God, who sent your only begotten Son into this world to free the human race from its ancient enslavement, bestow on those who devoutly await him the grace of your compassion from on high, that we may attain the prize of true freedom. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, O people of Zion who dwells in Jerusalem, no more will you weep. He will be gracious to you when you cry out. As soon as he hears, he will answer you. The Lord will give you the bread you need and the water for which you thirst. No longer will your teacher heed himself, but with your own eyes you shall see your teacher. While from behind a voice shall sound in your ears, this is the way, walk in it. When you would turn to the right or to the left, he will give rain from the seed that you sow in the ground, and the wheat of the soil produces will be rich and abundant. On that day, your flock will be given pasture, and the lamb will graze in spa spacious meadows. The oxen and the ashes that have filled the ground will eat silage toast from them, with shovel and pitch fork. Upon every high mountain and lofty hill, there will be stream of running water. On the day of the great slaughter, when the towers fall, the light of the moon will be like the sun, and the light of the sun will be seven times greater like the light of the seven days. On the day the Lord binds up the wounds of this people, he will heal the bruises left by the blow. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Praise the Lord for he is good. Sing praise to our God, for He is gracious. It is fitting to praise Him. The Lord reveals Jerusalem, the disperse of Israel He gathers. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He tells the numbers of the stars. He calls each by name. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. To his wisdom there is no limit. The Lord sustains the lowly, the wicked he casts to the ground. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. We honor the Holy Gospel.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. <clears throat> Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his, hearts his heart was moved with pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Then he summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and illness. Jesus said to this twelve, Jesus sent out this twelve after instructing them thus, Go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, drive out demons. Without cost, you have received. Without cost, you are to give. The Gospel of our Salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We normally think of religious or priestly vocation whenever we hear these words of Jesus. The harvest is few. Uh, the harvest is great, but laborers are few. Therefore, we think of praying for more vocations to the priesthood. We pray for more religious missionaries. We pray for those who will particularly offer their lives and work for the church. But this passage is more encompassing, is more reaching out to all who believe in Christ. Because when Jesus went to the people, he saw people without leaders. He saw people with problems. He saw people who were so beaten up by difficulties that they can no longer decide, they cannot move on, they cannot change the gloom, the terrible feeling of darkness that surrounds them. Hence, Jesus wants to send people to uplift them. He wants to send people to inspire them. He wants to send people who will bring out the best in them. I remember I have a friend whose father had humble beginnings. Nung bata pa raw yung tatay niya, he did a lot of simple, odd, many jobs just to get by. Nagshine ng sapatos, namasukan bilang gasoline boy, Hanggang nakatapos siya, nakapag-aral siya, and maayos yung naging buhay na naibigay niya sa kanyang pamilya. But it is a common event, according to my friend, na kung sila ay maggagasolina. When they will be driving, they will go to some place. Kapag naggasolina daw sila, the family already expect na tatagal sila doon. Why? Because the father will always make it a point 
to talk to the gasoline boys telling them nagsimula din ako sa ganyan nagtrabaho din ako sa gasolinahan nagsumikap ako at kung kaya ko if I was able to succeed then you also have it in you to succeed in short this father goes around inspiring people he goes around encouraging people he goes around telling people there is so much potential in you tignan ninyo ako dati akong gasoline boy I was able to make good with what I have you are in the same position where I started Dear brothers and sisters, as we reflect upon this gospel, we pray for people such as this person who will bring out the best from others, who will remind others there is so much potential in you. We pray for teachers who, despite the pandemic, will continue to inspire their students. We pray for parents that despite the current difficulties of this world, they may continue to be role models and the source of foundation for the young. Nuulit ko, our young children are challenged by the difficulty of our surroundings right now. It is upon our shoulders to continue to inspire them. It is upon our responsibility to still build up strong foundations for them. It is our tasks. It is our task to remind them of that potential embedded in them. You are blessed by God with a lot of dreams, promises, potentials. Naway hindi mawala ang mga pangarap na ito. Naway hindi magunaw ang mga potential na ito. Naway hindi sila mawalan ng pag-asa at sila'y tumitingala sa atin para hindi mawala ito. Again, the harvest in this time is all the more greater we need people to inspire we need people to bring out the best from other people we need role models we need encouragement we need people who will radiate hope we pray that we be one of those who are laborers set to the harvest of the kingdom of God. Let us all stand. God the Father has invited us to be ministers to spread the good news of salvation. We pray for the grace to recognize the dignity of our mission and the necessary strength to carry it out. Let the response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the Prelim Church may inspire people to renew their lives by faithfully bearing the witness to Christ in words and deed. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that missionary in foreign lands may be effective in bringing the gospel of salvation to all they meet by their witnesses of life. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that parents may communicate their faith to their children by the holiness of their life. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that the sick, the elderly, the handicapped, the lonely, the brokenhearted may feel the love of Christ through the care of their families and friends. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that those who have died may enjoy everlasting peace in God's presence. We pray, 
Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us pray for other intention. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, guide our faltering steps as we walk on your path. Help us in our struggle. Encourage us in our doubts. Comfort us in our pain. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please rise. Pray, brothers and sisters, that these are sacrifice may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of His holy Church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed that his first coming, the lowliness of the human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the founts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with all your apostles and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now call to God our loving Father in the manner Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who empowers his people. Happy are we who are to receive him in this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that it should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oracho Imperata, God our, God our Father, Father, we come, we come to, to you in our, in our need. need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that yes, has disturbed and, and even claimed lives. We, we pray, pray that you guide the people, people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its, its transmission. transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We apply to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Janssen and Joseph Renademitz, pray for us. 
Please be seated for some announcements. Our hashtag PASCOVID schedule of activities in line with the celebration of the Advent and Christmas season are as follows. Vigil and anticipated Simbangabi Masses from December 15 to 23 at 8 p.m. Misa de Gallo or Dawn Masses from December 16 to 24 at 4.30 a.m. Christmas Eve or Misa Aguinaldo Mass on December 24 is at 8 p.m. Christmas Day, December 25, our Masses are at 8, 10, 11.30 in the morning and 4 o'clock and 6 p.m. in the evening. New Year's Eve Mass on December 31, 2020 is at 8 p.m. New Year's Day, January 1, 2021, our Mass schedules are as follows. 8, 10, 11.30 in the morning, 4 and 6 in the evening. Our liturgical activities are streamed live and open to the public in accordance to the IATF guidelines. On December 8, our Mass schedule for the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary is at 6.20 a.m., 12 noon, 6 p.m. This is a holy day of obligation. Hashtag PASCOVID Poster Making Contest The Christmas spirit will not be probably the same as before because we are faced with many challenges. Though all the pain, fear, and suffering, one thing remains constant, the love of God through Jesus, His Son. The contest aims to become an avenue of art expression to inspire and encourage us to keep our faith in this season of hope. The contest is open to the Shrine community and the faithful. For more information, please check the and like the Diocese and Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word Facebook page. Thank you. Please rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. We continue to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to be God. To God. Mientras recorres la vida, tú nunca solo estás. Contigo por el camino, Santa María va. Ven con nosotros al caminar, Santa María ven. Ven con nosotros a caminar, Santa María, ven. Y en que te digan algunos que nada puede cambiar. Lucha por un mundo nuevo, lucha por la verdad. Ven con nosotros a caminar, Santa María, ven. Ven con nosotros a caminar, Santa María, ven.